Good evening. Tonight, we continue to remember and celebrate the life of KRQE pilot reporter Bob Martin, an invaluable part of our team who died a week ago in a helicopter crash near Carrizozo. At a memorial service this morning, News 13's Jackie Ken spoke with those who knew Bob best. Jack Rebecca, it's impossible to sum up Bob's legacy in a short ceremony, but today's memorial gave us a small glimpse into the impact Bob had on people throughout his life, from his days in Future Farmers of America to working in radio and in his decades as a journalist here at KRQE. This morning's memorial brought together Bob's family, longtime friends and colleagues, all with their own story of their fondest memories with the fearless pilot, scuba diver and reporter. And many thought of him as a teacher. His family moved to New Mexico when he was in high school. His parents took teaching jobs in Socorro, so it only makes sense he would also become a mentor to many. He poured out his life in service to others without counting the cost. And that was simply because his focus was never on himself. He was an amazing person. He was an amazing mentor to me and to a lot of people. Bob's wife Marilyn wanted today to be a joyous celebration for a man who brought joy to so many. So she specifically asked people not to wear black. But perhaps the most noticeable nod to Bob was people wearing the KRQE News 13 bomber jackets. Those were dedicated to him for his many years of helicopter reporting. Now a common thread throughout the stories told today, Bob's unparalleled passion for New Mexico and how he shared the best of it through his work at KRQE. I'll explain a little bit more about that coming up. Rebecca, back to you. Thanks, Jackie. Now, some notable faces were in attendance at today's memorial, including Mayor Richard Berry and State Police Chief Pete Cassettis. And we are